Hello, my loves. Welcome to a very new ASMR baking session. In today's session, we will be opening our hearts back up to love again. So, this video is perfect for you. If you have been feeling a little bit closed off, maybe you're afraid of allowing certain people into your life and into your heart, whether it's platonic relationships or romantic relationships. So, today will be a healing session. We will be plucking out any fears any limiting beliefs around love, around how worthy we are of love. But we'll also be plucking out negative past experiences that might make us feel a little bit fearful to open up again. So, also, before I forget, Today's video will have some gentle tapping. So if tapping is not your favorite or you don't like to watch any tapping videos before falling asleep, then I have a playlist for you up above here. The videos in this playlist have absolutely no tapping. So it's perfect to fall asleep too. Other ASMR triggers you can expect in this video are one of you guys' favorite, the rattle. Then, of course, there will be hand movements and my voice. And we'll have crystals as well. So, let's get started. So, first off, Get yourself very comfortable. Make sure you're either sitting upright or if you're laying down, make sure your legs are uncrossed. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my rattle to start clearing the energy around you. And I always like to start my sessions with some type of clearing, whether smoke cleanse or sound cleanse, to help create a break between your daily life and the sacred energy healing space we're about to step into. So, take a moment to drop into your body. Fully connect in with all of your senses again. Notice everything you can hear. around you, in the room, outside of your room. Take a moment to become aware of everything you can see. If you're watching this video, see the screen that you're watching it on. But also tap into your peripheral vision See the room around you. And then notice your body and all the sensations in your body. Where your body is touching the external environment around you, your chair, your bed. Okay. And then let's 
take a few moments to help our breath to become deeper and more calm so that we can start soothing our nervous system. So take a nice deep breath in and exhale out. So, first off, before we open the walls of your heart again, let's take some time to tend to your garden, so to say, and pluck out any fears that we have surrounding love, any limiting beliefs we have, Surrounding our worthiness of love, of receiving love. So, if there is any specific situation that you have in mind right now, you can bring that to the foreground of your mind. And then just allow me to pluck away fears and doubt. And any sort of negative projections that other people have embedded into you. So we're just going to very gently remove those. We're doing this with love and gentleness. So just feel the fears gently being lifted out of your aura, gently plucked away. in the background. It's a very stormy, cold day here. So, let's keep plucking away any painful memories, any words that have stuck with us over the years. Sometimes when we come from a family environment that was quite chaotic or dysfunctional, it might feel unsafe to open yourself up to people. Because maybe you've had the experience that the people closest to you are the ones that can hurt you the most. There are so many beautiful and loving people on this earth and it's not because you've had a heartbreaking experience when you were younger whether it was with your parents or your first love doesn't mean that there aren't other people out there who do see the goodness in you and to whom 
you don't have to prove yourself to whom you don't have to prove your worthiness your lovableness who simply see it in you effortlessly so let's cleanse away the doubts the pain so that those cycles can come to an end and that pain doesn't bleed into any future relationships so we have a few more to pluck out here okay so now that we have removed these energies from your aura I want to go and cleanse in a little bit deeper and for that I have my last tiny little piece of Palo Santo I no longer buy Palo Santo because it's um, close to being endangered or it might already be on the endangered list so I cherish this last little piece that I have and I only pull it out for special occasions and I think that the journey towards self-love and allowing people back into our hearts is a very worthy cause for me to bring this out going to light the Palo Santo If you want to, you can look at the flame and imagine those fears being burned away. There you go. So, just going to very gently work it through your aura. has a very sweet, woody smell and you can imagine allowing the smoke of the Palo Santo go deeper into those wombs and clear up any last remnants of the energy that was there if it is a person's energy that you're removing just imagine the last little bits of their energy being burned away from your aura and this doesn't hurt them at all Just closing things up on our side. Okay. So, still burning just a little bit. I'm 
not sure if the camera will pick up on the little smoke trail, but I'll keep it burning until it dies out naturally. So now that we have removed those energies, we have little pockets in your aura that are empty. We're going to fill them with seeds of love, self-love, of worthiness. And I have this flower agate point, which I'm going to use to deposit these seeds into the wound that we have. So we're going to change the composition or arrangement of our internal garden. We've just removed the weeds and the dead trees. Now that we have more space again, we're going to plant new fresh seeds in their place. So I'm just going to place all seeds of love to those places. If you're a very visual person, you can imagine the holes in your aura where we have plucked and burned away that energy and just little seeds of love being placed all over your aura into those little pockets. This is a very gentle process. These seeds will be concentrated around your heart and your solar plexus, which if you're not familiar with the solar plexus, it's located at the lowest part of your ribcage in the middle, right where your ribcage splits apart just a little bit below that. This was the flower agate. Not sure if I mentioned, but I chose this one because we want to plant new beautiful flowers into our garden, our inner garden, our healing oil. This has jasmine and frankincense in a carrier oil. So it's floral and fresh, sweet. The frankincense also gives it a bit of depth. It's kind of like walking into a fresh blossoming garden. Also has some orange in there, I just realized. So it's pretty. 
fruity sweet. So, I will be putting a little bit of oil on my fingertips. And then right where we planted the beautiful new little seeds, I'm going to gently place some of that oil on there for nourishment. It's like a little starter pack of energy, vitamins and minerals for this new tree or flower to grow and to bloom. On a practical level, you can nourish yourself by monitoring your self-talk, being more gentle and caring with yourself, giving yourself the energetic nourishment to help you blossom. So I'm just gently pressing in the healing oil. up this little bottle okay and now we're going to fully close those energetic gaps again now that we have planted seeds of love and warmth into them. We want to close them up to give those seeds a chance to sprout. So we'll be using this phosphociderite. Alright. As a crystal tool. to close up the energy again, bring everything into a sense of completion. Okay, let's smooth it. All over your aura. Energetically filling up the gaps. Closing them up. If you want to, you can take a bit of extra time to just connect with the phosphociderite. Allow it to envelop you fully with
with its loving, healing energy till you have a whole cocoon of the energy all around you and you can imagine it being the same color as a crystal, a very light, pale, pinky, purpley color Take a bit of time to fluff up your aura, give you a good few feet of bounce of space and energy around you. to like